All right, there we go. We are back. And, uh, it's pretty cool so far. I'm looking for a shrine, right? I think we're looking for a shrine. Uh, oh, was that, is that the pain? Or is it blood? Red pain? I guess Kazuki's hunch, hunch was right. But why this house? I'll leave it for now. Forensics may be able to make something out of this. The divide between the sacred and us mortals. The shrine it belongs to must be up ahead. Okay. A beautiful bamboo grove. The shrine that the gate belongs to must be hidden behind it. What's that? I can see something floating in the river that has more red markings on it. I need to carry... Carefully fish it so I don't disturb it. Okay, I gotta be freaking careful. What would I be able to use to fish it out? Oh, okay. I really shouldn't do this, but oh well. There, there's no one around and it seems the fastest way to get myself some bamboo. Are you stupid? No cop would ever do that. Are you kidding me? And boom! Uh, dude, you just you just fired off a gunshot. I hope you had a silencer on that thing. Someone's gonna call the cops now. Detective Ito. Using the broken bamboo, I can really push the object out of the water without disturbing it. A train path. And just like I thought, it has red paint on it. I should go to the station and see who this belongs to. Is there anywhere else to go? Nope, nope, okay. Keep going. Okay, we're here. Let's enter. Oh god. Hi! Hi! What can the great Majira help you with? Hi hi. I found this uh, commuter pass by the by the stream. Could you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, sure. Just is that blood? Oh, the red mark, red markings, markings. It's paint, I think. You think blood isn't really my thing? It's definitely not blood. Smell it. No, 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 no need. I believe you. Right, it's not blood. Hand that here. Okay, a little bit got me, but it's fine. No problem. It's just pain. Not blood. Nope. Not blood. Deep breaths, Megara. Megara. Right, sorry about that temporary loss of composure. Allow me to effortlessly find the owner of this pass. Freaking thing. I'll just swipe it again, here. Aha, let's see, hmm. As fortune would have it, I know the owner of this card. It belongs to Mai, the youngest daughter of the Ka Kawana family. A very interesting family indeed. Oh, and what makes them so interesting? Well, they own a lot of land in the area, and have donated a considerable amount of local sh to, to, to the local shrine as well. I often see Mai working there. The house next to the station with the laundry hung up outside actually belongs to her grandmother. Except for my, they're all pretty cl cloistered lot. And she's usually a very caref careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to see me about it. I know all those passes after all. I'm the expert on train passes. Mai's a good kid. You don't think she's gotten involved with nefarious types, do you? Not that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's nothing, but I wouldn't mind talking to her regardless. Wait, do, do they know she's a cop? I don't remember. While she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you'd like to know? That's all for now, thanks. Well, okay, let's get out of here then. 
I guess. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to go further up to the shrine now, obviously. Huh? Oh, they live here, okay. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. A dark room covered in dust. Hard to believe someone actually lives here. Uh, maybe it's been abandoned for a while? Uh, who knows? I mean, I have to laundry that and dry, I guess. Oh, who knows? What was that? It sounded like it came from behind me. Someone, someone's in the house. Someone's in the house. Frick, I knew it! I should not enter. I should not do that. <laughs> you think I'm just going to enter a house? Unless that's how I have to do it. I'm not going in there, sir. No, thank you. Oh, crap. I have to. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Girl, I love your outfit. I'm just saying it. It's fucking cool. Sorry for swearing. Her outfit's so nice. Okay. Uh. Oh god, is that blood? I hope that is not blood. Excuse the intrusion. I'm with the police. Is anyone here? Oh god. Her outfit's still doing that. Could this just be a dream? I mean, she's been moving a lot like that. Right, enter. It might just be the breeze or something, I don't know. Like, wind. <laughs> Who are you? How did you get into my house? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. My name is I Ita? Ita? And I am with the police. The door was unlocked. <laughs> if you think because you're the police, you could just walk through my house with imp impunity? I thought I'd lock the door. What did you say your name was? Not that it matters. Whoever you are, you shouldn't be here. You saw yourself in, you can see yourself out. The door, I know, I locked it. Were you followed? Followed? No, I'm looking for your granddaughter, Mai, and I wanted to ask you about the red markings outside. Mai? What do you want with her? She's a good girl, you leave her alone. The last thing I need is some police sniffing around my house. When I came here, I wanted to be alone, so that my family and I could live in peace. All you're doing is drawing unwanted attention. Besides, I don't care about those superstitious markings. So you know what those markings are? There were once some who made, red mar who made marks in red so that they wouldn't get lost. A guide to those who'd pass into the spiritual plane. More likely it's a vandal. A vandal. Shh, can you hear that? Why after all this time? Imiko! Imiko, is that you? No, she's gone. Why do I, Why does it call to you so? Perhaps you can be the one to free me from this torment. Uh, so it is spiritual! Oh my god, this is interesting. Perhaps these old bones have suffered long enough. If it wants to leave, then I'm gonna give it to you. Well, slow down. Give me what? What are you talking about? The mask. You'll help me, won't you? Take it from me. It wants to go with you. So, Mai was wanting the mask because it talked to her too. Jump scare inbound. Girl, look away from it! Uh-oh. I am sorry, child. Child? <laughs> sorry? What is this? I, I feel strange. Years we spent trying to answer that very question. Fruitless years? I don't know. I have to get out of here. I'm sorry. Yeah, take it away from this place. Oh god. So we've just been cursed or some shit by a demon mask. As soon as I touched it, it was as if the lens through which I viewed the world was jarred out of focus. My vision swirled and shifted. My legs became limp and vile smell assaulted my nostrils. I pushed my way back into the entrance. I needed to get out of that house. Oh god, uh, what if my sees us? Is that it? 
I guess she sees us, right? Do I accidentally kill her or something, or what? Exit! Exit! Run! We should have left the mask and then it just ran. We should have let her keep the mask. I don't care at this point. It's none of our business, you know? I can't leave that way. Okay, okay. I have to go meet up with them, I guess, and then this is when it all happens, huh? The wave of sickness that overcame me began to fade as I emerged from the old musty Kalana house. Immediately, my mind began to write off what I'd experiment experienced as a fluke. Feelings brought on by a lack of sleep and a strange on a, and, a, and a strange case. After a few long fills of of spring air, my headache subsided and the nausea lean lessened. With every step I took out of the, out the door, the strong emotion I felt holding the mask got further away as well. Good. Maybe it was the old Kalana woman who had made my mind go to such, to such a strange place. What other ex explanation could there be? It's what's spiritual. But as I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted in goosebumps. Something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. My knuckles had grown white from gripping it so tightly. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Why? Why had I held onto it? Before I could think of an answer, a scream from the direction of the shrine broke through my muddled thoughts. Oh shit. Move, 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 move. That better not be our partner, man. I swear, man. This is just stupid otherwise. Go to shrine. Yes, please. Oh, come on, really? Oh, she looks cute though. Why would you kill her? I thought it happened in a city, not a shrine. That day at the shrine, I saw Rina for the first time. The girl who Kazuki had been chasing and who would be his killer six months later. Oh, she's called Rina? So I'm guessing that's the girl. That girl is mine, guessing, huh? Her eyes kept darting around, making her mental stance state, stance, state impossible to read. Until the, that day, I'd, I'd never seen her, but she, she felt familiar as I moved toward her. I began to feel uneasy. At ninth point was my Kawana, who must have been dragged there shortly after I arrived. You think she's the real man? Even in the warm spring air, I remember a shiver going down my spine. Tanaka, what, e what exactly is going on here? Everything's under control, Ato. Stay behind me. Who is she? Tell her to go away! If she doesn't, I'll do it! I swear! Please don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Please. I can't do voice act tonight. Rina, this is my partner, Detective Ato. I told you she'd be coming, remember? I don't know how to say her name, okay? See? She's right there behind me. Just like I said she would. No one's trying to trick you. What took you so long, Ito, anyway? Tread lightly and follow my lead. Hey, your name's Rena, right? Yeah. Hi, Rena. My name is Ayumi. I am a friend. Please, help me! Oh, boy. You're not my friend. You don't know anything about me. I don't trust her. Keep her back. We won't take one more step, promise. You know, my partner's a lot smarter than me. Maybe you should tell her what you told me. The voice in the... what do you call it? Oh, right. The dark. No, I don't want to talk about them. You said you can make them stop. Can you really? Like I said, I've met other people like you. They were very sick, but when they came with me, I got them help and they got better. Oh, he thinks that she's fucking 
in psychosis or something, eh? I'm sick. It's not real. That's right. Though I know it doesn't seem that way. It's not your fault. It's not. We fucking messed up. What did we do to deserve her to stop and then kill the guy? This seems to be going well. No, of course not. If I was in your position, I'd be scared too. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. That's right. No, she's going to turn it around and she... No, you're wrong. You can't see it. It is all. What's down there? Eating everything up. Eating me up. I don't see anything, Rena. It's a beautiful spring day. Nothing more. There's nothing out to get you here. It's below us all the time. It whispers. Shows me things. Things it wants to do. I can't eat. I can't sleep. There's nothing below us. I know it's confusing, but you've been sick a long time. And it won't get better unless you let us help you. No, you're lying. You want to hurt me like everyone else. I'll do it alone. I've always been alone. That might be why. I need the mask. That's the only way to fix this. So stay away. Rena, there's no mask here. Don't you fucking say a thing, lady. Isn't that right, am I? Yes, of course. I don't know anything about a special mask at the shrine. She's letting her tongue slip. She gotta be careful what she says. Rena, Maya wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hurt her if she doesn't know anything, right? Quiet, both of you! You're working together, aha! Uh -huh. That's it, right? I know it's here. Where is the mask? Where is the mask? I'm trying to voice that, but my voice is dying. Right, she sounds timid and shy, so maybe please, like, please, please stop. I don't know anything about it. I don't. I swear. Please let me go. Bam. I can't do voice acting. Hey, hey, we talked about this earlier, right? Violence only makes everyone nervous. And people do th silly things when they're nervous. I don't know about you two, but it's hard to focus clearly on an empty stomach and I'm starving. Are you two hungry? He is so fucking good at his job. Know what my favorite food is? Pizza. Hey Mike, what's your favorite type of pizza? Pizza? You wanna know about... Um, I don't know. I like margarita. Nice. Well, a little boring, but a classic. Wow! <laughs> You're fucking on it. How about you, Rina? What's your favorite pizza? I can get one brought in for all of us. Much more pleasant way to talk than at opposite ends of a shrine, if you ask me. Pizza? What about the... I promise we'll talk about all that stuff later, but first, pizza. I like pizza too, for... Not now. Before? Before what, Rena? Maybe you can tell me about it. No, no, no! I don't want to talk about that! Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick ever since that day. No, no, no! Stop thinking about it! Mom, everyone! Oh, they're dead. I know it all seems impossible, and that you have so many things to overcome. A sickness of the mind can affect the body too, and I bet someone... And I bet once the doctors have a look at you, they can help with that too. Hell, you join us, right? Oh yeah, of course. You too? Seems to be all the all the rage. See? No one's out to get you. We'd all rather we'd all rather this go peacefully. Stop! I don't want to hear any more about that. Don't you get it? It won't stop until I get it. What do you mean? Put the knife down, Rina. Then we can help you find whatever it is you're looking for. Hi. No, I know what you're doing. This bitch knows. You're hiding it from me. Oh, damn. I know that this is the right one. I can feel it here. 
And if she doesn't give it to me, I'm going to make little Mike bleed. Reyna, listen to me. I'm pretty sure if Mai knows anything about this map, she'd tell you. Mai? Mai? No, her! The one next to you! You said she was a friend. Why would you lie? I can hear them. I can see them all around her. Shadowed voices. It is spiritual. I love this. I mean, I told she doesn't know anything about this right now. You're a little scared of her. And that fear is playing into your sickness. You have to trust that what you see isn't there. No, stop lying. You don't get it. It's real. She's seen it. Oh, damn. But why? Why is it awake? Why, 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 why? Seems you got here too late. Huh? What is that? Can you hear it? It sounds like it does down there. No, 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 no. Get back. Can't you hear it? Oh, God. Make it stop. You said you could help me, so make it stop. Oh, so she's only looking for the mask for relief. Please make it stop. Why haven't you done anything yet then? Please? Tanaka, I don't think she's lying. I think I've seen it. What the hell are you talking about? The mask in the house back there. My grandmother showed me a mask. I knew it! You lied to me! You lied! Give it to me! Oh shit, I shouldn't have put that. No. Why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry, Tanaka. How was I supposed to know it had anything to do with this? Does this mean I'm not sick? That you won't help me? No, no. Oh shit, I should have said that. No, you lied to me! You said it wasn't real! But she's seen it! I can hear it! It's awake! It's awake! Oh shit. Stay back, I came here for that mask. It'll, I'll hurt her. I said I would if you lied. I didn't mean to fucking lie. <laughs> no one's lied. This mask Ato has. There must be dozens just like it. No one else can hear anything. So let's all come down and start over. I should have fucking let him handle it. I never listen to my gut anymore. As a key, I don't feel well. I mean, what's wrong? Why can't you hear it? It's screaming. Make it stop. Make it stop. Hey. Eskia, I am sorry. Before that day, the possibility of ever using my gun on another human being never occurred to me. What the fuck? My mind doing so was the failure as a detective. A sign that you hadn't thought the situation through. That all the other options had failed. Dayami Ainu would never point her gun at a girl. But suddenly, as I stood under the cherry blossoms, the Ayami was replaced by someone else. I was a passenger in my own body. Looking on in horror as a girl identical to me began to squeeze the trigger. My thoughts were lost in the din of a thousand terrified voices. Uh, so the mask is controlling us now, huh? I wish I could say I lost consciousness or didn't remember what I did, but that isn't true. I remember every moment, every second, and every face that looked at me in horror at what I did. Can I just wait? I'll just wait this out. I'll just fucking wait this out. I'd rather she do it than me. I can't let the kid fucking lose herself. There's still a chance I can save her. Oh my god, I have to fucking do something. Oh my god. I don't want to kill her. Fine, I'll fucking do it. Oh, I'm laughing, huh? So put your weapon down. Don't do that. His key shouts never reached my ears. The world that I'd been in moments before no longer existed. There was darkness. And it was only me, the girl, and a voice which told me to do one thing. So I did. As I, my finger pulled the trigger, Rena looked at me and smiled. I wonder why she smiled then. Knowing at that moment what was about to happen to her. It was as if she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked me right in the eye as the bullet ripped through her skull. Oh god. The smile never left her face, even then. 
Even after she died. Wait, so we saved the pink-haired girl? There's no way. She would have slit the throat on the way down, right? Oh, it's so cute! Ayami, can you hear me? Nurse? Nurse, she's awake. I can't do what exactly for she's. Listen to me, Ayami. You're going to be fine. You collapsed after... After the gunshot. Huh? Gun? What are you talking about? You don't know that girl! What did I do? Hey, don't move. You need to rest. What did I do? Oh god, she's scared. I only calm down. Nurse! <laughs> Detective Tanaka, if you could just hold her still for a moment. Everything's going to be fine. The nurse is going to give you something to help you sleep. He wouldn't have believed us. There's no point in talking to him. Tanaka, where am I? I don't remember coming here. It's alright, Ayumi. We're in the hospital. I'm here for you. Now, I know how you always like getting ahead of me, but please listen till the end, okay? Days ago? A few days ago, there was a hostage situation in Kamakura. It ended badly. You you shot that girl. At least you didn't lie. Thanks. Then, well, um, the doctors are saying you had some kind of mental breakdown. Ah, you're awake. Good. And how are you feeling, Miss Saito? You seem cal much calmer now. Yeah, I guess I was a bit confused after blacking out. Oh, yes, according to the studies we've read, that is quite common for people who have exper experienced that kind of trauma you did. Tell me... Do you feel like following sim do you feel the following symptoms? Please answer with yes or no only. Shortness of breath. No. No, I'm breathing fine. I should try and make this look believable, okay? Nausea. No, I feel fine. Words Visions? No, I can see fine. Fatigue? Yeah, I think maybe I should lie down. I'm giving you a mild anti-psychotic in light of your recent episode. Oh, fuck, I knew it! It's our duty to make sure you are mentally and physically fit for duty, you understand? Yes. Good, let me explain your medicine to you. We've conducted a series of tests since the incident in Kamakura. Oh, I think I see the future of this happening. We found no evidence of history or neurological damage, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder. I'm writing up the episode as a stress induced breakdown. For your safety and the safety of others, however, we strongly recommend you take those pills daily for a period of several months. Oh god. Take a look at your chart, Macedo, to be to help keep track of the well being of workers in the public sector. We developed the SPIN system to monitor various aspects of your of your well being. SPIN stands for SPIN stands for sanity. Professionalism, investigation, and neurosis. We'll be monitoring your SPIN attributes closely in subsequent checkups, and I suggest you do the same. So, uh, I'm being monitored every few days or something, huh? It'll probably be monthly. In light of recent events, let's first consider your sanity, your ability to accurately perceive the world around you. Oh god, no. Oh, don't. Without taking your daily medication and giving your condition, incidents like you... Incidents uh, like you recently experienced are more likely to occur again. For now, I strongly suggest you take your medication. 
So uh, this is like our uh, boost to get back upwards on the sanity meter. Since your first dose is due today, please take it now. Here. Okay, uh, so it minuses our investigation equally to sanity points given. Okay, unfortunately, as you might have noticed, there are some side effects. So uh, down the line, I'm assuming she thinks the pills are going to be holding her back. Well, taking antipsychotic medication will decrease your chance for any future psychotic episodes. They may make you a bit dr uh, drilly and unfocused. As a detective, this of course may lower your investigative abilities and your attitude for seeing the details on a case. So it actually changes? Although your partner mentioned you may have experienced hallucinations at the time of your breakdown. So taking your medication is imperative to keeping your mind clear of those visions. I should warn you, however, if for whatever reason you're unable to take your medication and your sanity is measured by a spin gets very low, you may suffer from a total psychotic breakdown. So please remember to take your medication, Miss Saito. In order to avoid Miss Dulcie's inform in order to avoid Miss Dulcie's informal routine, we recommend you to keep your pills in a familiar place like your apartment so you can take them every time you come home. You should also be careful with neurotic actions, endlessly talking to people, pacing back and forth, travelling around meanness meaninglessly and the like. Studies show that neurosis can act as a multiplier that X exponentially speeds up a patient's loss of sanity, which given your current condition could be dangerous. We found that patients become less neurotic by taking time at time out to take care of themselves. Yes, probably. Uh, Detective Tanaka tells me you have a pet. Perhaps spending time some time with the animal, relaxing and getting a good night's sleep will help you your lev help the levels of neurosis we've seen on your chart. These stress relieving actions can have no negative side effects in relation to your medication or condition. I'll leave it to your superiors to discuss professionalism with you, but it has a measurable effect on the spin chart. Do you understand the importance of spin? Or do you want me to explain it to you again? No, I understand. I'm still sleeping. I'm just having a talk with ghosts and I'm uh, doing that dream thing. You can wander around. Uh, Kezuki, thank god you came! I need to get out of here. You've got me taking enough sedatives to knock, knock out a dire elephant. A dire elephant. Did, you did they tell you when they let me out? I missed you. Besides, I'm going nuts laying around here all day. It's funny you, you should say that, I mean. As I think the going crazy thing is what they're worried about too. That's not funny. Sorry, sorry. But in life you can either laugh or you can cry and if you ask me, it's better to laugh. It shouldn't be much longer now. The doctor says he wants to observe you a little longer is all. How are you feeling? Better. But I, I don't remember what happened very well. The whole thing is kind of hazy. I remember that I was feeling strange, like there was someone else there with me and and that mask it. I'll stop you there, Annie. I've heard enough about that thing. It was all over the report and Yukimura gave me a hell of a lecture about even leaving mention of it in there. Where is it now? That's not important. He believes it! Oh shit! There's like, you made a mistake. No, that's not fair. Given the situation, I don't blame you. Even on the report, you can barely even call it a mistake. A highly unstable suspect had a knife to a girl's throat and you took a shot. You took the shot. No matter, no matter what other people say, I'm standing by you both now and at the hearing. I don't know that. Uh... People at HQ are already starting to take your side, but please, no more talk about that mask. It only hurt your case and keep you in this hospital. I'm having a hearing? 
Trust me, no one- nobody wants that. The least of all me. Not to mention, Yukimura's had a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you. So help him out a bit, will you? Whatever you think you saw that day wasn't supernatural. Besides, thinking about it isn't going to help you get better. So no more about it, okay? You're right. It was a confusing situation. And I guess my mind is grasping at straws trying to come to terms with it. You know, Kazuki, I think I need a break from all this. From being a cop. I didn't sign up to hurt. To kill people. I know, we'll talk about it later. For now, you should get some rest. We should take a leave of uh, absence, whatever. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. Then you die six months later. Are you serious? <laughs> you didn't tell me anything, obviously. I guess you kept me in the dark the whole time. Oh shit, we're back. Hi, okay. Uh. Huh? There's gonna be a jump scare here. I fucking sense it. Oh man. Oh, yeah. He was wearing the mask. It was a sacrifice. Shit, he's in the mask now. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm guessing that anyone who dies with the mask on gets trapped in it, right? I just have to destroy the thing and it'll be put to rest. But I don't know how to do that. 